also um, I, I want to make another video uh, just uh, talk a little bit more about how I came to the insight that I was wrong uh, with the margin um, because that's that can be valuable for others too I think I, I, I think that that like it's strange how the mind works and how you can yeah it's just like it seems to work that insights come via tipping points and like you have many things but still you're of a certain opinion but you can see like many things but they don't convince you and then certainly there is this point where you have this aha and lateness of or you see a certain point where you say that ends up completely shifting your opinion to the other side and and for me this tipping point was well the lead up was the realization that I have done very well as an investor the past uh, three years only since 2017 thanks to the crypto bull market uh, I finally had a great returns and uh, before that, not even though I was really focused on investing for many years. So it's 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 it, my average returns may, maybe like ten percent or so uh, before 2017. But thanks to the bull market of, uh, of of crypto and the way I invested in that bull market, my average returns went up to around maybe 50 percent. But then due to the bear market, it went down again to about 30 percent per year since. 2008 so 10 11 now almost 12 years track record 30 percent is a very good uh, but that's the problem you become overconfident and uh, i realized that like the best time to invest for example with a, another fund manager with a fund manager is not when they are like having great performance no 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 it's when they have had some bad years that's when you want to start investing with a fund manager because wow it's just like that look at the returns it's how it works fund managers they sometimes they're really right and they make a lot of returns and they will come on tv but then the years after usually it's very bad so, so first of all, they need to have an average great return. Uh, but still then, you don't want to start investing with them when they've done very well. That's the problem with Catherine Wood today, who has started an ETF five years ago that has done very well, the ARK Innovation Fund. But, um, and it has gone sideways for a year now, but th the best time to invest with her is when she had some bad years. Or at least one good bad year. Uh, and of course that's it's just a general rule it may may not be the case here there are indeed uh, fund managers that, that 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 for 10 20 years uh, on average do 20 percent per year uh, that exists but it's very rare mm -hmm. and even there you will see serious volatility probably um, but um, it also applies to yourself when you when 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 you have had a bad returns you become better as an investor you think a lot deeper about your decisions and um yeah usually that really works to your advantage uh your thinking is just better uh and 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 you make better decisions um and inversely when you have been successful you have had great returns your thinking becomes poorer you make poorer decisions and, and you pay the price later it's just uh, the way of the world so that's what I realized like Mark be extra careful here like eh, like you've done very well even eh, after the bear market now in crypto yes I still have 30 percent per year yes I'm very proud of that but it also means that it's time for you to lose some serious money <laughs> uh, and uh, and be um, get some uh, modesty again um, and you can get it yourself by yourself or otherwise the market will give it to you it's your choice oh. 
but um, it has to come back. And 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 and, and, and this made me like think deeper about what I'm doing and by thinking deeper I went to the next step where I really I start to really think about how, how it works um, margin loans and okay and I start to realize that actually the risk reward is going down of an investment when you use margin loan that's what really for me made the click this morning in bed when I woke up thinking about it yeah that's really not something you want to do lowering the risk reward ratio of an investment that's really yeah, that's actually the inverse of what you should do as an investor that's really not uh, not smart and that's truly the case uh, because um, yeah, the risk goes up a lot. Huh? Yes, the potential reward goes up a lot. Let's say you 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 do a, a, a leverage of two, you you meaning you have double as many shares, so your your reward doubles. But how much does your risk go up? Double or more? Because if it's more than double, then your risk reward ratio went down. And is it more than double? Yep, it is more than double. For example, with Tesla, you buy double as many shares, so your margin loan is as big as your equity, while your 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 uh, margin call price, I think, uh, is about $150. That means if it drops to below $150, you are forced to sell shares. And so being in a situation where if it drops, and that's not far from current price, 200, 250, it can happen. What is the chance? This is, of course, a tricky thing. You always have to estimate the chance and and and, and, and often you're, of course, wrong about that and, and, and biased and subjective. And, and, and But let's say even you only give a 10% chance that it drops below 150, then suddenly you have to sell shares at that price and uh, locking in losses and um, that you can't make up if it goes back up to that price using margin up. Mm. Uh, it's just, um, yeah, the risk of that investment goes up by more than the potential reward. So then you could say, okay, but let's not do a uh, leverage of two weeks. Let's do just like 50% more. Uh, um, instead of double, let's buy 50% more shares. So then my margin call price only goes up to $100 and not $150. Is that better? Well, okay, the chance is lower. It will reach that uh, low price, but it's still high. Like, yeah, maybe it's not 10%. It will reach it. Maybe it's only 5%, but... Probably you're biased in that estimate, huh? Because you're you really want to make, take more risk, so you can just double up your estimates. So instead of 10%, uh, uh, 5% chance is probably 10% chance you you reach that price of uh, of hundred dollars, uh, and to reach a price of hundred fifty dollars is probably 20% chance if you estimate it to be only 10% chance. Uh, but um, even there, um, yeah, the chance is too high. Uh, for it to reach and 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 and, and uh, for you to um and i have to do the worst thing which is instead of buying more there or just keeping your stash and waiting it out you have to sell um as i said in the other video it's just too high of a chance that you will reach that price and you will be in trouble and that it's the chance is just too high there are some investments indeed where the chance is very low you will reach that uh, with a permanent portfolio for example where where you will reach drawdowns are so high but for individual stocks the chance is too high huh? or for managed funds or for a mixture of individual stocks even an index fund such as um, 
uh, the S&P 500 or 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 or, or, or uh, just the global stock index. You look at these uh, past returns. Yes, sometimes there are drawdowns of. 70%, 67% happened in 2008 uh -huh. uh, and of course it was 100 years ago that ever happened there were not even indexes the last time that happened or let alone index funds, no uh, that was like in the 30s but then suddenly it happens eh? and you're wiped out I can't say it's wiped out because that's not really the case with margin. You just end up forcefully having to sell, uh, but, uh, but 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 your losses are much higher than simply uh, being invested without margin. And, and 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 the problem here is that it is already so hard to invest correctly without margin. To buy more if something has dropped a lot is very difficult. Very difficult. Huh? Who bought more stocks in 2008 when it had just dropped, had a drawdown of 70%? Very few people. Very few. Huh? Like, it's so difficult. But if you are invested with margin, instead of losing 70, you lose like 95%. Hmm? Yeah, you can call that being wiped out. Huh? Like your, your equity. There's a huge difference between using uh, losing 70% like in the drawdown or using 95%. Eh? There's a huge difference. Eh? After you use 70%, you still have 30. But then it gets cut in half again. Then you have 15. Then it gets cut in half again. Then you have still 7. Then it gets cut in half again. Like That's what's happened when you have um, uh, margin. Eh? And you get margin calls. Your, your losses are much higher. And so... <laughs> are you able to invest more no huh? you're not huh? even if you invest without margin it's already so hard to do the right thing um, but if you're invested with margin and, and you have so many more losses in, in, in these kind of scenarios yeah. Yeah. you can't do the right thing huh? so, 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 so margin has to be reserved for investments that are extremely like unlikely if you would have a permanent portfolio in 2008 actually thanks to your mixture of stocks and gold um, you still went down a lot actually because gold didn't go up there uh, it only went up later and uh, but stocks did collapse a lot so your, your, your losses were also tremendous um, Yeah, but you might have like just not reached that margin call price huh? that is like 90% lower or 80% lower and so you might be like not uh, margin called because the, 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 the permanent portfolio I recommend is not the traditional one of four assets with, with long-term bonds included no mm, because um, yes actually if you would have that one the, the drawdown was low in 2008 uh, thanks to the long-term bonds, but I, I don't think you can do that anymore today. The long-term bonds are historically low uh, interest rates, so and also you have this cash position there in traditional portfolio, 25% each um, stocks, long-term bonds, gold and cash, and that's short-term bonds. But the problem is that the returns are too low of that portfolio uh, because of ha having invested half in fiat and today at such low interest rates of long-term bonds the, the odds for it to go down in value are just way too high. So, so my recommendation is if you want to do a PP uh, and it should be 75% stocks and 25% physical gold but that kind of portfolio has much higher drawdowns uh, and therefore using leverage there if you look at the historical returns you can not use as much uh, uh, and and so yeah uh, but you can still use leverage uh, but probably by estimate maybe you can do the 20 percent huh? so you can only borrow 20 percent more than the equity you have to invest in the same assets uh, long term as stocks and uh, sorry global stocks and uh, and gold but that has to be digital gold then huh? because Ah oh, no, you don't have to do that. No, you can do that physical gold because with interactive brokers you can actually withdraw in cash uh, margin 
uh, a margin loan. But the problem is, save investments like real estate or the PP is not interesting to invest in. Uh, if you're an experienced investor, you, you, you want to invest in opportunities, you will not invest in that. Uh, the, the return is just too low and it's only there that you can justify using uh, leverage. So I think if you want to borrow money, you should do it as the set up corporation and, um, and, 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 and have some kind of like nice, yeah, borrow money uh, the way corporations do it. Uh, th these are interesting terms. Mm, but um, that's also a lot of work. Huh? So in conclusion, I think I have to agree with the general knowledge here that margin is not uh, is very risky, but also should not be touched as a stock investor. <laughs> Certainly not as a crypto investor. Eh? That's just, no, no, no. The terms are bad. However, if you can borrow money from, from, from your uh, friends, family or other fools huh? <laughs> that do not uh, want their money back when things go bad um, and can wait or have to wait, have no other choice to wait um, and you can pay them 5% interest or even 10%, okay, good, 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 if, 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 you're, if, 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 if you are have proven in the past to be able to have more uh, returns than that and uh, they are happy with this kind of interest yeah of course do it huh? that's interesting the FFF if you can borrow from them hmm? thanks for watching and uh, be careful out there